Good morning everyone and happy Tuesday. It is election day so I hope that you, if you didn't vote in the early voting opportunity, I hope that you're getting out and voting today. I think polls close everywhere at 7 p.m. or at least in Texas they do. So get out and vote. I made it to work and now going in, loaded down, I've got my water, I've got my hot chocolate, I've got my bags with me. I carry my laptop every single day because I also use it at home and I bring a tote bag just with stuff I'm working on right now. Probably half of it I could just leave at home but I bring it every day and I always bring water and of course I'm drinking hot chocolate and it's gonna be an awesome day. We're gonna go to a realtor luncheon today so do a little bit of work we'll leave to go to the realtor luncheon i'll show you a little cute house and we'll come back i've got to run marvin some keys for the homeowners association that we help manage because he's got to put up some things he needs keys to do it and today's election day i already said it but go vote i hope you voted because by the time you see this the vote will be over we were going to go to a watch party but i think we're just going to stay home it'll just kind of depend i don't know watch parties can be fun but watch parties can also be like, okay, we get it. So, we'll see. Ricky and I are out at Altura Homes. Ricky just dropped his phone. Um, so, we're gonna tour the home and see what it looks like. Okay guys, I just did a live video with Ricky and now I'm gonna show you the house on this vlog. So this is the kitchen area. It's got a kitchen island this way. You could put some bar stools right over here and has Frigidaire appliances. Here's the pantry in here. For the realtor luncheon, we're having barbecue, so. What? Nice countertops. And it's it's pretty spacious in here because there's three of us trying to walk through this area and it's no, not feeling super crowded. This is the dining room area right here. And then back here is the living room area. So again, great windows right across here, bringing in the natural light. And great space for having guests over too. The backyard, we've got, a, it's a tiny patio, but I don't know how much you entertain in the back. If you entertained a lot in the backyard, that might be a problem, but. So let's go look at the master bedroom. It's through this arched doorway here. Great size master. Two windows, and then here's the master bath. It does have double vanities and the restroom, garden tub with the frosted windows. And then it has the walk-in shower. I don't really like the pan so much down there, but um, I do like the little seating area right here. That's nice. And then the master closet. Y'all know I love when they have the double hanging option, and they do. So you can hang your long things, long dresses and things like that there, but then you can double up on this side and then over here and be able to put like shirts, pants and things like that to maximize the space. So now I'm gonna show you the other bedrooms that are downstairs. And I do like the master suite though. I do think that looks nice. But let me show you the other bedrooms. So here are the other bedrooms. But first, this is the laundry room area. It's nice that they have this like little rack so you can just hang up clothes right away. Um, it's very spacious. It's not small at all. This is the front bathroom, secondary bathroom, guest bathroom. And it has a little sink area. And then of course, the tub and shower. I do like it that they put the subway tiles going up and down. Kind of makes it interesting not just your usual and 
and then through here here's the first second bedroom I guess and it's a reasonable size not too big but not too small just right in the closet it just has the one rung and it's not really that big but that's okay and then here's the third bedroom and again it's a similar size as the first one I just showed you in the closet it's about the same size as well so not really any bigger and the closet doesn't have a light that's interesting there is one more bedroom upstairs that I'll show you now I've already seen it because I did that live video but um, I'll take you up oh and there is an office space here and then this is where this is the office for the model home folks but this is where your garage would be so going upstairs you come up to the landing and then we're in the fourth bedroom I'll be honest I kind of don't understand it it has a really good sized bathroom though so maybe if you had like a kid coming home from college or maybe you know someone who's in high school or something have their own space but I'm not really sure and then it has this space over here where it's like a step up so it could be like a reading nook or something but just not really understanding it I guess it does have a walk-in closet and it does have some great you know the double racks and then the single rack so it's a much larger closet than the rooms downstairs but just not really understanding it okay I'm done with work now so I am headed to the store because Marvin just texted me and he said how does fried pork chop sound for dinner and I thought he must be like near a barbecue joint or something and I'm like yeah that sounds fantastic he goes great and can you pick up some sides to wait what so he wants me to fry him some pork chops and he wants me to make him some sides and because I love him I will and because I'm hungry too so I mean you know that's just how it goes so I'm headed to the store now and pick up some pork chops pick up a couple sides and then I'll make dinner see people like why are you driving like that really so I'm gonna go to the store and I'll bring y'all along with me and some of y'all may be saying hey Lisa what about what about your Sunday meal prep like didn't you plan on Sunday for your whole week so you'd know what you're making for dinner and yeah didn't do it not so much I did Marvin did go to the grocery store last week so I have some things but I don't have everything so now I gotta buy stuff for dinner tonight we have dinner plans Thursday night so I don't have to buy anything for Thursday night but I need for tonight I need for tomorrow night and then the weekend so I'll buy a few extra things to kind of hold us over this is my favorite when I make pork chops I like to pan fry them with onion so I don't know how y'all like pork chops but that's how we like pork chops even though I don't like to eat the onions so I'm gonna pick up a couple onions probably a yellow onion what I think I'm gonna do is google the difference between a yellow onion and a white onion because normally I've been buying white onions so let's google that real quick what is the difference between a yellow onion and a white onion? Like besides the color, obviously. So it's saying that Spanish onions are a particular kind of yellow onion and we find them to be slightly sweeter and more delicate in flavor. White onions, these onions tend to have a sharper and more pungent flavor than yellow onions. They also tend to be more tender and have thinner, more papery skin. So, I guess let's do white. 
Newsflash, I'm gonna do yellow. I'm sticking with my gut. I'm going with yellow. So I got the pork chops. I got the cheddar broccoli rice for the side. And we already have like green beans and such at home, so I don't have to buy anything like that. And I bought a yellow onion to pan fry those pork chops in. I have butter at home, so. But I mean, seriously, I think I have a cake mix at home. But what if I don't? Don't I need something like that? Or maybe like some, even like some blueberry muffins or something, right? No, I don't need it. I do need it. I don't need it. Leave me a comment and let me know. Ooh, brownies. Mmm. I think I have stuff at home, but gosh. Can y'all tell I love carbs? <laughs> So I got pork chops. I did not get any additional meat because as I was thinking about it, we have, we should have some stuff in the freezer. So no need to go buy some extra stuff, but I'll have to pull, make, I'll have to check the freezer and pull out whatever meat we have inside. And so now I'm gonna go home, fry out some pork chops and had a nice combo with some ladies in line. But one of my goals this year, not this year, one of my goals that I just recently set for myself was to like give five compliments to people. Like, and like genuine compliments, not like just like, oh, you look pretty. Like say like, oh, I really love that top with your eyes. Or I love that color of that coat. Like be specific and just like compliment people because I think it's a good way, an easy way to spread kindness. So let me know what y'all think of my idea. Marvin's not home yet, but I just got the mail, and Marvin will be home shortly. And I'm gonna pan fry those pork chops. I, I don't know what I was hesitating on. I'm gonna, I was thinking I'm gonna fry up those pork chops, and I was gonna, but I'm pan frying them, so I was gonna say, I'm gonna pan fry up those pork chops. I don't know. I'm rambling. But, I'm gonna get dinner started, and then we're gonna watch the election return results. Kind of excited, a little bit nervous, not gonna lie but whatever the outcome is, I'm just super excited that so many people got out and voted. I think that's awesome. And probably film a little bit more because it's election night. So I'm not gonna say goodbye just yet. Okay y'all, I'm back home. And I feel like I can only like film in this like direction because the rest of my house looks a little messy. I don't know why I don't put stuff away. Like, and have it just looking all neat and straightened every single day. I just don't. And there's no one to blame. There's only me and Marvin living here besides Captain and Wolf, who's temporarily away from us. But she will be back Monday after 2 p.m. So, I don't know why I don't put stuff away. Like, uh, laundry I did the other day, there's still a sweatshirt out. Like, why didn't I put that away? Am I the only one that does that? I feel like I am. I know that I'm not, but I feel like I am. So for now, I'm gonna get started on the pork chops, the pan fried pork chops with onion and butter and start the sides and wait for my husband to come home. And then we'll watch the election results and I'll film a little bit of that and then I'll say goodnight. So stay tuned. Hey guys. So the election did not really turn out like I was hoping. Although some of the people that I were hoping that would win won, and somebody that I was hoping that would win didn't. So, kind of bummed. How are you feeling, babe? Uh, pretty good overall. So we're cleaning out the cat box, and when I say we're cleaning out the cat box, Marvin is cleaning out the cat box. And then of course, Captain is Filling it back up as we speak. Isn't that, isn't that special? So anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here and hope you guys have a great day and I will see you, we will see you tomorrow. All right. Bye. <laughs>